How good, bro? Oh, How man. good? Check that out. Jerk chicken. Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a good one because the brother JP is back with me and we're in the South Island. South Island Diary 6, it's official, it's happening. Now, full disclosure, I actually started this video yesterday because we fished yesterday, but it was a really hard day. We fished about 12 hours, we saw about five or six fish. We managed to get one to the net and at the very end of the day, JP lost a really good fish too. So it wasn't quite enough to make a video, but I'll tell you what I will do. Let's start this video off by giving you a quick recap of yesterday. Four feet. Hey bro, how uh, how long is your dropper? How many? Two. I reckon you're gonna wanna be maybe like a four foot deep at least. The pass was made, drift came down, fish tried to eat it, struck, missed. Mm. He, he was still there for another cast. Uh, and he, I think he tried to eat it again or at least looked but didn't. And now I don't know where he is. He's doing a fly change, and I think he might have gone to be honest. Okay. That was a massive balls up. All right, you see where I am? Yeah. He's right opposite me in the middle. I'm looking at there's a smudge on the other side. Oh no, that's the edge of a rock. Got a fish pretty much opposite me, feeding well. Go pretty much in his mouth. Got him! Yes! All right, all right, all right. Good fish. Whew. With the shape. It's a strong fish. Nice fish. Dude. Oh, hang on. Might be all right. Maybe. Oh! We on the board in style. Dude. That's a cool fish, man. That is crazy. Well, that. well, with a combination of bad angling by me and some bad luck and timing didn't work out, but that was well worth waiting for and working for. Okay. I found a, found a really good fish on the inside here. I can actually see one further up too. Uh, so back to dry dropper, into position, see what happens. Coming up. Lift. Go tip up. Go, 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 go. We gotta go, we gotta go. That's it. To try, this is this is where we gotta land it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, all those rapids.
So as you can see, that fish I did catch was really good. And then at the end of the day, it was heartbreak central. Anyway, we're in the South Island. JP's with me for a couple of weeks. Then I'm gonna hang around a couple more weeks. We're gonna fish with some people, do some cool stuff, hopefully catch some great fish. As you can see, it's starting to rain again. So I'm gonna put this camera away and let's go fishing. Finally found a fish. Been looking a long time, covering a lot of water between us. JP's over on the other side, uh, working that edge. And uh, yeah, I walked past some amazing water, and I finally just just saw a glimpse of a fish in the glare, a little bit upstream of me. So I'm just getting myself ready, and I'll have a crack. And it's going to be tough because the visibility from here is terrible. I only just saw him, and I'm you know. 20 feet up so once i get down the uh, river level um, i'm not going to be able to see a damn thing i don't think yes a little bit of weight. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's crushing. That's my own fault. Angler error. Just bust off at the knot where it was tied to the bend of the dry fly. Oh boy! <laughs> Oh, that was, that should have been a fish in the net. Oh, I need to go and have a sit down and have a word with myself. I'm uh, upset about that. What a doofus. Yeah, here comes the rain. This was forecast, so we've done real well to get a couple of hours without rain, so. I'm pretty happy about that. So pretty gutted about that fish, though. I won't lie. proven tough it's proven real tough JP is just uh, nymphing this pool just because the water's got so much color in it and we can't see it in there and it looks good and we know there's fish in there so just thought we'd uh, stop take the time put a heavy rig on nymph it see if we can you know come up with a bonus fish JP had a couple of shots down there I had uh, well if you can call it a shot I put like one drift over a fish and he was like out of here um, <laughs> so yeah it's been a pretty Pretty slow day. Well, tough day. I mean, we've seen fish. Had a couple of shots, but it's just so hard to catch. I don't know what to do. Start changing some stuff up then. Next fish I find, I'll try something a bit different, I think. If things are starting to gorge out a little bit here, I don't know how much more water we'll be able to fish, but we'll, uh, we'll keep poking our way up, keep fishing it, looking. Hopefully we can get one fish. Now it's kind of like, well, if we can get one fish today, that's an absolute, absolute win. Weather's nice though. Bit of rain, bit of sun, bit of wind, but it's Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Quick rundown of what I'm using today, actually same as yesterday. It's the Helios 3 six weight F. This is the cool olive version. Olive, you know, this is normally white. They do an olive and a blue. This is the olive one, obviously. Mirage LT reel, size two. 
On here is the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth in a six weight. Beautiful line. And then off of that, I've got a seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring, and then I've been building my leader off of that. So today I think I've got about seven foot of 3x down to about an arm's length of 4x. And then, what have I got? I think I've just got a transport fly on here for now. Yeah, just a little nymph, just a little nymph, just to kind of get where I'm going, find a fish, find a scenario, find a situation. And then I'll adapt and change and do it from there. Pretty simple, but it's a great setup. As with all my stuff, it's all linked in the description below, so you can always go there, click at the link, and have a look for yourself. Good times. Ooh. Awesome, bro. Nice. Boom. Nice work, bro. Awesome, on the board, JP's on the board for the trip and double bubble, he saved the day because I can't get it done. That was great, older fish, yeah obviously it was a much better fish at one point, big head, bit dark, but still cool fish and quite heavy, eh? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Uh, what do you eat, a little, uh, little brown thing, little brown thing. You just kind of went over, um, ate it and it was uh, all good in the hood. broke off where I put the split shot, which I know, but I mean, I don't know what else to do. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. I'm getting close to the last shot of the day. That's pretty good length. It's a bit short. It's coming too far right.
Got it. Yeah. Okay, we're coming down. Okay, I'm so nervous now after losing two fish. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on that. Come over here, dude. Do not like you over there. That's it, that's it. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Come on, dude, turn, 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 turn. Oh, come on, turn. Back over here now. I can't get his head up yet, just wait. I'm not in control yet. Ooh. Almost be better off around here now, bro. <laughs> just fell in. Not quite, don't scoop. Come on, baby, almost. Almost. <sighs> Almost. Come on. Get your head up. Get your head up. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! Oh! Damn, bro. Shit! <laughs> Shit! Oh. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> all right you won't have got the release because we were just getting ready and he just decided to stop behaving and just powered off couldn't stop him didn't want to try uh that was cool man that was a bigger fish than i thought way bigger yeah it worked out at last boy two for the net job brother uh, yeah. uh, okay i'm all caught up i'm gonna sort this out <laughs> All right, just gonna show you real quick. This is what that guy ate. It's like a size 18 soft hackle pheasant tail from uh, NZ Fishing Flies. Uh, and then that's just off of uh, some 5X. Because of my previous disaster with the fish and it busting off where I pinched the split shot onto the line, what I did this time is where I made the knot here and tied the uh, 5X on, I just left a little bit of a tag end loop. And then I pinched my split shot onto that, so I actually haven't damaged the integrity of the main line at all. Uh, and that seemed to work, so I'm probably going to do that from now on, in the same kind of situation. But yeah, good fly. pretty much as far as we could go we got kind of gorged out we probably could have linked up and down the crossing but it's getting on in the day and it didn't look like there was much around the corner that looked really really good it will break down the rod zzz, break down the rods and then just hoof it back to the truck and that's the plan stand cool we are back at the truck uh ended up being quite a big day in the end of ah sand flies ended up being quite a big day at the end of it um yeah two big days for a few good fish but we're on the board and the fish were good and today actually could have been a four fish day but i was a bit i was a bit crap a bit crap oh nice t-shirt bro gives a twirl 
Nice. New Scientific Anglers t-shirts. Pretty slick. I'm going to sign off here because we've got a bit of a drive. We've basically got to take all of this out, chuck it somewhere, organise it, pack it. And then we basically we've got to pack up the big packs, get our lives in order because tomorrow morning we've got to drive a bit. Then we're jumping in a helicopter and we're going to fly into somewhere spectacular for a whole six days of adventure and fishing. Pretty excited about this one because... Well, I'll tell you all about it next week when we get in there. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. All that good stuff. Say goodbye, JP. Cha. Have a great week, everybody. See you on the next one. Peace.